Hello and welcome to New Hampshire once more. We did truck race and now we are doing the B open race here in Xfinity. I'm a little bit late to the party this week for New Hampshire having just uh, did my first truck race yesterday and now today on Monday afternoon during a Monday afternoon we're getting to it but hey we're here <laughs> and uh, we are in a I think what is a single split um 1.6k strength of field and uh on a track that can be a little messy so i'm a little bit worried okay, Stay behind the line. Okay, Colton, we've got two. but i did want to do this uh combo this week at some point and uh i just uh i was a little busy at the start of the week so it took me a while to get here but we'll see what uh we can get out of it today here on monday even in a, a, a little bit of a lower strength of field. Green see flag, what we can get flag. out of it and qualify too. Okay, we come to last lap, but for some reason we want this one. Alright, seems like the track might be a little bit faster than the practice session. Hey, I'll take that though. I feel like I can't be so bad um, having my best time ever here. Just set up from OSR as usual. Seems to be doing all right for me, especially this qualifying setup. I'm really happy with this qualifying setup. It is getting the job done. I was pretty fast in uh, the open practice and uh, feeling pretty good so far here. I feel like we should be able to start somewhat near the front. We're going to push it a little bit more out of four there, but nothing doing. First lap was better, but we were able to keep it kind of consistent at a point one. Oh my, okay. We're looking pretty good on time. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty more people ready to go. However, see very many like the two car three car four car five car lots of people probably still uh, not quite out I wonder if they uh, know like there's gonna be some cloud cover or something <laughs> maybe they wait on they've uh, waited on their times or something there we go there's a time that's a little bit closer three tenths away so we may or may not drop some more spots that's all right we'll do a practice pit stop here just in case but like I said, this place can get kind of messy. We may not get green flag pit stops, but don't want to be caught unprepared. Watch your speed limit in the pits. If we do need pit stops, not the hardest pit road to get onto. Pretty straightforward. I'll take that. Your water temperature's creeping up. Make sure we get the right setup in, since this, of course, was the qualifying setup. go and then I'm just gonna move the brake bias back just a tiny bit get some more rotation and I'll call that good lots of people not qualifying so far we're waiting or something I don't know you see like tons of guys there are like, a couple guys not even in here like Richard Crane one I don't know I don't know how to respond <laughs> mm -hmm. is that good I don't know but, uh... How'd he do it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have an answer to that. I'll share the qualifying setup. It's just the OSR setup. Okay, Colton. Your engine temperatures yeah, are now please. back to normal. Okay. Good luck, Colton. Good luck, luck. Go. All right, I shared it with everybody. It's just that, like I said, it's just the old school racing forums qualifying setup. I moved the brake bias back a tiny bit, but nothing special. All right, so 
apparently that's good. Thirty point one. Um, I, I like I said, I haven't even. I don't think I've watched anybody even do this race this week. I saw Gavin's race in the fixed series. Uh, that was pretty messy. I'm hoping guys will be a little bit nicer. That's the end of the session. You're on pole. Well done. But uh, you know, <laughs> we'll see. This track, unfortunately, can get pretty messy, which is unfortunate because I really like Great it. Lap. Thanks. Good luck this race. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the inside. Closed. Pit road is closed. So, session last lap we'll have up. It's one thing to have a qualifying run and another thing to not kill the tires and make it for 80 laps. Which, speaking of making it 80 laps, 79.9 .9 estimated right here. We are right on the cusp. Is there a way to scale up your virtual mirror now? Scale up your virtual mirror? I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, you can. You can do it in your little black box. Oh, you're talking about make it. Yeah, it defaults to the buttons directly below the plus and minus on the keyboard. I think it's the brackets. I think you do okay, right? That's just, that's the v. If you want to make it smaller or bigger, you got to go to the I and up of. They know the answers better than I do. So I'm not going to pretend I know anything. But, uh... Yeah, this this could be an interesting one. Microphone check. It's not working for me. That that adjusts the FOV and the height. Yeah, you got to go to the I and I files, and there's like there's a, a small, medium, okay. and large. Yeah, you can move it around. I don't think you can scale oh, that's it up. My bad. I had them confused. Okay. How are we doing, Curtis? Yeah, in case you didn't know that, uh, if you want to move around your UI, you hold Alt and press K while you're sitting in the car, and you can move your different boxes Good around. Good to see you, Cutie. I'm almost eight class. You have three additional sets of tires during this race. Have a good race. Yeah, you're not missing much with it. Laps. You're in pole. No, the reason why I'm working so hard to get there is the league racing. It ain't any better. All right. Another thing we're not going to be doing here is no, shifting. No, some of them don't let you in unless you're like a certain light and stuff. Uh, we were doing that in the trucks, but I don't think that's going to be a thing here. don't want to be a part of those leagues anyways. And B. I've been a part of a lot of shifty, uh, shifty, shitty ones. There's a lot of unnecessary drama. I've only been part of good leagues. Oh, believe me. Nick and Gavin's. I know. <laughs> That's the whole list. Those have been no, really fun. Too many rules and shit they do. If you want to hate iRacing, sign up for a league. Sounds like you just gotta find the right ones. So, restart zones are enabled here, so I'm gonna have to be very careful about when I go. I can't go until green. Alright, don't go. Stay calm. Sorry, there's a box in the middle of my screen trying to get it to go away. Let's go. Green, green, green. Here we go. Ease into it here. Don't want to drift up into him. Stay low. Clear high. Alright. So far, so good. Just gonna keep this uh, one lane here, kind of like that second lane. Just gonna ease it around there. That seems to be the place to be. But you do have some options in New Hampshire. You can kind of like drift up into the higher lane and all that. Oh, I got a little loose and then a caution came out. <laughs> There's an air dryer, or a hair dryer rather, in the background. I'm sorry if that's coming through. So, are Colton, are you uh, are you saving tire on the bottom or what are you doing? I don't know how to save tire here. I'm <laughs> turning left to going fast on the bottle. I really don't know. I, this is my first attempt at this this week. Um, usually the bottom's the place to go. Yeah, uh, for saving tires. 
runs the fastest, tells everybody it's his first time here this week. <laughs> I mean, it's not my first time here ever, but this week, yeah. Isn't it crazy how that works? <laughs> Pete Road is now open. Pits are open. So, uh, something happened back there. We see the 17 on Pit Road. Pretty quick caution, not too surprising. Maybe we'll get it all sorted out before too long, though. I guess I should be saving, t uh, not tire, but rather, uh, fuel. Although it would be great if I save tire as well. I'm out here running in second gear, full revs for no reason. When we already established we're right on the edge on fuel, so that's not very smart. Make sure I'm saving. I guess with a caution, we're probably good to the end on fuel here, huh? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You're fine. Interesting. I mean, I'm showing it's kind of... I'm saving just in case. Showing kind of You should light. be more concerned about tires than fuel. Well, yeah, but if there's no yellow, then, I mean, I'm not coming in to get tires, that's for sure. There's going to be a yellow. There's going to be a lot of yellow. Oh no, the two car also on pit road. I mean, I know this. I'm just, I'm just saying we can make it on fuel. That's basically what I was getting at. If it were to happen, I mean, crazier things have happened. You'd be good. I got where you're going, with Curtis. One to go. Okay, Next on by. I don't know if anybody was in the last race when we go. We had no costumes. We went from start to finish, green flag all the way. Oh, that's awesome to hear. How many cars? I was in that one with you, Tony. Yeah, what was it, 12, Noah? 11 or 12? That's why. Oh, uh, 11 or 12 cars. Few cars, few cautions, few opportunities for cautions to come out. I believe, I believe we can do it. Have a clean race. Out if I just don't lift. Oh, if anyone's around the 17, man, it's going to be a caution in about three laps. All right, so restart zone. Got to make sure we get there before we launch. Then go. Go. Got the two coming out of the pits. I guess he had some damage to fix. Kind of using the three as the brake marker on both sides of the track. can get away with driving it in harder, but since we're trying to save the right front right now, that works for me. Just kind of making sure I hit my line along this uh, kind of seam down here. Thanks, buddy. Before X for that. They're running into each other back there. The two and three already have had trouble. Fastest lap for Connor, 30.8. The guy behind has just done a 30.7. Ooh, I drifted up a little bit too far there. That's okay. We'll get a good runoff. The other two doesn't necessarily want to go a lap down. I'll stay out of your Cody. You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 0.9. Fastest lap. Outside. Clear up top. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh, okay. good. My race is screwed. Ooh, that sucks. You're supposed to hold him, man. Huh.
All right, so number two's race in jeopardy already. Sounds like the three got a four X back there and perhaps damage. We've already had some luck with guys that, according to iRacing, are going to give us the biggest challenge. I feel like I'm being really good with the car. Trying not to uh, drive in too hard. We're setting the pace. Up lap time was and uh, be a gradual off the corner as well. Overdrew, but just a bit there again. I think uh, drifting up in the middle of the corner like that is going to be what's bad on the right front. Uh, let's make sure we're slowing it down enough. All I'm really doing is making sure that I'm hitting the correct line, you know. Getting slowed down enough. And you got another yellow. So I don't feel like we use the tires very much. More difficult than it really is, man. Three. They really do. Three sets. Most people are impatient. Pace car is out. It's hey, my bad, Matthew. I didn't mean to get spoiled. I want to wear my tires under yellow. Oh, good, but I mean, didn't think that that, uh, that might have tapped with a Inquirer 4X, but uh, not Richie, I guess, so. Oh, good, bud. Just an FYI, when the yellow flag's out, that needs to slow down. Does look like we're good on fuel. They were definitely right. Ah, that's right. We got plenty. I, I, I thought it meant to speed up. All right. I thought it meant to try to gain a couple more positions real quick. Yeah. I thought when you hit a wall, you're supposed to bounce off into every way. Chastain told me that's the fast way around. <laughs> According to what his name it was, man. You see his clip that he put on Twitter? Car two got the lucky dog. Brent passed on the outside. All right, lucky dog going high. <laughs> I'm already way around you guys. <laughs> Open my volume. I didn't hear what he said. Did you get involved in a wreck or something, Josh? Yeah, in the first few laps, man, the 17 just turned down on my bumper and spun himself and. Locked it up with someone else, and they spun up and hit me, and I lost like 60 RPMs. Dang, that sucks. So I'm gonna save fuel yeah, a little bit while, anyway. Man. I've actually, it's, it, it's the second wreck I've had in three weeks. I turned down on your bumper. Keeps the balance of the car when there's more yeah, uh, weight. Sure. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Oh boy, here we go. Get the popcorn. Why is the bottom side of the I track over here so dark? Turn down on my bumper. I don't need no fucking popcorn either. I don't know if I ever uh, noticed that. Pit road is closed right now. What? We're under caution. Pit's closed. Nah, the, the chain call is just being, being funny and say, okay, oh lord, get the popcorn. And he was responding back to that. I'm just here to have fun. I don't mean it in any mean way or anything. I'm just here for the SR. <laughs> 20, if I came down, I knew there, that's my bad. I thought I gave you enough space. Alright, I didn't see anyone pit. Uh, at least no one near us. So. No worries there, I don't think. I don't think we used the tires too much anyway. Mostly caution laps so far, it feels like. We had a decent run right there, though. That was decent-ish. Check for tire spin. Coming up a bit, Sam. I'll be on your outside. Right. Yeah, that feels fine. One left to green. You'll be lying. Hey, now I want to go with your back line. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so. We'll try this again. I'm used to the, uh, maintain the start zone stuff. 
just so you know, if you're on the outside, the inside uses it a little quicker, and it'll allow you to speed a little bit. Just be sure you're behind them when you get to the restart zone, and don't be uh, increasing your speed when you get to the restart zone. Be lucky that this is a track you get to practice at. The shorter tracks, it's much harder. Yeah, because that inside line at the same speed, the, the, the inside just pulls you bad. Fairgrounds is awful, dude. I didn't do Nashville Fairgrounds. That looked a little bit too much like a circus to me. Right, boys. Be patient about that one. You have control. Maintain the pace speed until the restart zone. Then go. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. I'm getting another good jump, it looks like. Happy with that. And we have a yellow. That wasn't a very good run. Thank you very much. Fuck's sake, bro. I almost feel like you have to practice that making yellow come out that bad. Yeah, that was pretty bad. You didn't hit nothing yet. Oh, there he goes. All right, making my way around the outside, ladies and gentlemen. Please make your way down to the bottom of the track. Lucky Dog is coming by. Move your fat ass down to the bottom of the track. Thank you so much. He sounds like he's going to get on yes, the lap soon if he's not already. Lucky Dog, you. Come by. I'm gonna go all the way around. So we brought that yellow out. Somebody get into somebody entering the turn. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I guess he's not paying attention. I think somebody tried to push the three wide, and you know that happened. Or they were trying to dive in the corner and get on the brakes really hard and just go straight. Yeah, I think. You know, I don't think we have enough flat tracks My bad, didn't see you there. on uh, iRacing. People aren't really used yeah, to the fact that they have to break out there like he was trying to park it in the middle of the track. To get on the brakes pretty good to get this thing to turn right. Or, you know, turn left. Full turn correctly. Right. Don't turn right here. That's a bad idea. Unless... Oh, God, that's the guy that just ruined my race in the truck race before this. He, 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 he hit me twice in the same corner and took me out. Unless you're at New Hampshire Road Course. <laughs> oh, from my perspective on that wreck, dude, it just looks like the bottom washed up. Where was running the bottom just washed up in the mid-car, mid-car washed up the top, and just got the off like that. Closed. Knew it. It's important to remember the bottom lane is the second lane here, Keep going. too. Keep going. You have to That's wonder if everybody gonna is aware of that. Finish. He's going to tell me to stay back here anyways. <laughs> okay. Yeah, racing is done when it comes to Lucky Dog. Yeah, it'll tell like one person to let someone pass, the other person to get by them, and they'll fight constantly. Like, Lucky Dog just has to pass that last person, and everybody gets across our finish, just updates the line. Should have gotten a drink before this race. I'm going to dehydrate before the end of it. It's fun. Yeah, turn left and go fast. My wife's got a job interview today. I hope she has good luck with that. I'm interested That's why a hair dryer was going off in the background. So it's be really interesting I hope you didn't hear that. Sure, that didn't yeah. sound great what, if it did come through the other. Get rid of the tape. There were people that were just taking advantage, I guess, of the system. They could kill the engines by clutching and kept the engine up the whole way. And I thought they were gapping people, so to control it, they just reduced it. Yeah, that's a real shame. I liked the way the tip tape system was, and I feel like, you know, the better thing to do would be to fix that exploit rather than take away the, all the tape, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. The league I was a part of had an Xfinity series, and once they put the tape in there, everybody's like, this racing's gonna suck, so they kind of just disbanded it. I think they also did away with the uh, fuel. I think they should have kept the strategy in that. What? What do you mean, if you? 
you got auto fuel now. So it took the strategy away from, you know. But you don't have to use the auto fuel. That's just so you don't have to make it when you go to the pit. Maintain the pace speed until the restart. You still got to set that up, too. A one lap, each of them is not enough to get you to the end of the race. You got three lucky dogs. It's great jumps. We've made it out of turn two this time. That's good news. I had a heart attack there. Back to racing feels good. That's my bad for uh -oh. uh -oh. it. Never mind. Oh my goodness, guys, please. For the love of God. This is getting boring. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. Should have grabbed a drink before this one. I'm not so sure the ninth is getting me out on the knee part. Pace car is out. It's closed. Yeah, it was closed. He, he wouldn't kind of give you much room, even though he's on the bottom. He was kind of run the top. Kind of like I'm saying, like, Where an alcoholic that beverage. That was, that was nasty look. <laughs> nah, I drink tea. That's about it. Yeah, I got contact, but it wasn't enough to screw me up or anything. I liked it. It was nice. Sounds like they've got a lot of rear endings going on back there. Kind of glad I'm getting these nice jumps to start with. Pete Road is now open. Alright, that'll be uh, $125,000 for new chat, the engine, motor, and body parts, sir. That's a hell of a deal. <laughs> Dude, I think with the Open Series, they really should add more of like an RPG aspect. Like, you, you can gain money for finishes and stuff like that with the in-game currency, and you use that to upgrade um, your garage and, like, get personal, and you can, you know, put your trophy room and all that. And it's just it's a cosmetic thing, right? But you have to pay for entries into these series, and that would make people think twice about just wrecking and doing these dumb moves. The lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. That or give on every series a X amount of call. Dog high. Theoretically, that's what safety rating's supposed to do. And once you destroy that many cars, you get to race that series no more that week. Or like you, you got a chassis. You have what? You get a thousand starting off in the, the open series, and then maybe you wreck your car, cost five hundred to replace it, but you can't finish better, and you have to go down a lower series to try and build your money back up. Like that, I think that would be a great aspect. I race that level of realism would definitely control a lot of the wrecking. It's are open. Yeah, they need to do something. You're making me miss the NASCAR career modes and console gaming and stuff. That's exactly what it made me think of, something like Dirt to Daytona or something. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, like, guys like Matt Kocher. Imagine what his trophy room would look like. Uh, number nine, you're all good. You don't have to bother that. We're under caution. Pits closed. I don't believe our racing has a room big enough. But, like, other drivers could go and visit, like... I, I don't know. I get you know that's more in depth than it needs to be, but the currency system is something I'm definitely interested in. Something that has nothing to do with real money. It's just something that's built purely in iRacing. I thought about that kind of thing before. I don't know though. I just feel like they should make safety they rating matter more. Turn it to deal with real money. They'd make it where you could purchase money with money. That's what I don't want to see happen. Like that's that's the big fear is the microtransactions bullcrap pay to win the entries. Yeah, that sounds very scary. The whole thing involves money, man. Even right now we're driving money. Everybody here either paid for a setup or got a setup that someone built or is using default. But somebody got paid to make that setup. <laughs> Not counting the money they spent on the the subscription and the equipment to even to play it. It is pay to win. I have a bad deck. It's pay to win. Don't waste your money. It's pay to win. You don't want to pay five ninety nine for the season pass for an extra five horsepower. <laughs> I want to spend twenty two hundred dollars on a break. <laughs> By the way, they already have the option where you have to, you know, 
buy money with money. Anybody ever bought a silver corn or a wheat penny? That cost a lot of money. Good point. Yeah, well, there's all kinds of stuff that you buy money with money, but we're talking about on here. We convert your U.S. dollars you to Venezuelan money. dollars. I like buying important You get money. free money. Good hobby. I'm gonna show you how to get it for free so you don't have to spend it. Maintain the pay speed and oh, wait, is it the other no, way around? I don't know. Don't listen to me. Oh, yeah, well, then you gotta Not quite as good of a jump that time. Okay, made it to turn two again. That's good. Finish the lap. We made it to turn three. Yeah, he's thinking the same thing I am. Everybody's in turn. Your lap time was 31.2. Ooh, overdrove it. That was not very good. I like that. That was definitely uh, on the right front a little bit more than I would have liked. Alright, make sure I'm backing it down. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let's do it in a uh, turn one and two this time. Again. Looking good on speed still. Always makes me a little bit nervous when we have to bunch the field back up. I'm like, did I kill my tires? Here to the guys behind, and now they're right behind me again. It's always something I'm a little concerned about. Getting a little bit loose there. Kind of just got a little too hard on the throttle. That lap was a Rattling the seam there. That was a little lower than I have been going. Don't think I want to do that though. I think I like the extra little bit of banking to get in the second lane. It was working just fine for me, just keeping it right there. It's got to aim for it. We're getting some laps in though. That's cool. Wow, 2.4 seconds behind us. This is going pretty well. Your last lap time was at 30.6. Shout out to OSR. Great setup this week, it seems like. I mean, I know this is a lower strength of field, but... It feels like it's driving itself. This is a kind of a boring race. Lots of pace laps. I'm having a good time just because I get to drive New Hampshire, which I actually really enjoy, but I guess at the same time, a lot of times I'm driving it at 55 miles an hour. Some bumps a little bit on entry. Got to make sure that I uh, slow down enough not to get affected too much by those. Got a pretty loose exit corner there. Time was 31.1. I will say, Gavin was talking about how in that uh, B fixed race the setup was super tight. Doesn't seem to be the same issue uh, in open here. Pretty happy with the amount of turn the car is getting. OSR did a great job this week, I feel. I 
And I don't feel like I'm overdriving either. Keeping it pretty smooth, like I said, I'm kind of braking earlier than I feel I need to. So I'm not driving in too hard. You've just done it, 31.0. Glad that we're getting some green flag racing. Race would take forever if we kept having those two lap runs. We're not even halfway yet. Lap traffic appearing on the relative. Try guys that have damage from earlier crashes. Real life uh, race is going on right now. Interesting to see who wins that one. Obviously, Christopher Bell is the favorite. He's really good at New Hampshire. And uh, he got the pole, I believe, didn't he? Damn, dude. Oh, yeah, just trying to get away from him. Well, now it's time for pits. I think it's safe to say. I'm going to put fuel in it, even though I don't need it. Again, for the balance. Reasons. Colton, where did you get your setup from? Oh, I saw. I just like the qualifying setup. I'll share that one too after the race if you want. Uh, please catch the pace cars. Yeah, they hit the mark pretty well this week. I think feels pretty good to me, at least. It's crazy. I just lost 80 RPM from that. Pit road open. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Alright. So, coming in for pits. It is time for such things. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. I wonder if anyone's going to stay out. Pit box team, 10. Okay, Colton, that's half distance. Five, Fuel levels are fine. Three, two, one. Right here. I think we've got some takers staying out. That scares me. It scares me bigly. All clear, punch it. Line up, single file. Catch that, 19. I Stop. suck at the road. <laughs> uh, if you could do me a favor, man, if uh, we do go to a pit road, just stay behind the lead car. Don't cut down the bid like that. Like, my pit box is way before yours. I had to slow down to let you by. Oh, my bad. Nah, it's fine. I should let you know. Other people, man, might get, like, super agitated and be a it's jerk right, about man. it. Hi, Cody. Alright, where are we? P4 now? They haven't gone the whole way without pitting, so there's that, at least. I just hope we survive this. This is going to be one of the most dangerous parts of the race for us. Just going to have to be patient. Find our way around. It's a pretty wide track. Hopefully we won't have too much issue. There's a six car down there. What's that guy's car? Are those baked beans? What is on the... Did you have to eat any laps, Curtis? What is on the right? Yeah, I'll spill that. What is that, that texture? I, I can't tell what that is. <laughs> it looks like baked beans. Sir, are you baked I beans? I don't know what it's at now. now. That's a football man. It's not yeah, baked beans. Okay. 40 from earlier. Unless that's... Baked Bean University College Football or something. You gotta go around me, 20. 
All right, so starting on the outside, we should be able to at least to see the leader pretty well. We might have to be patient with old tires up front. I don't think they're going to get any tire spin or anything, but... Is that a beans checkered pattern? <laughs> I was just asking the same thing. The volunteers checkered pattern. <laughs> I was just wondering the same thing. It looks like baked beans. Is that Peyton Manning on the side? That's the last time they were great, right? <laughs> That's so funny. At least it's not just me, you see? I feel like baked beans were good when I was little. <laughs> see, they gave the best sparks, man. Alright, <laughs> enough about that. Enough about baked beans. Think a room over some baked beans. Getting ready to go here. Second half of the race. Hopefully we'll survive this restart. We will clear the baked beans, looks like. Oh my goodness, he is going really hard into the corner. Scaring me a little bit. We're fine, I just gave him extra room, I was a little scared. Plenty of room. Keep low. Oh my god. Alright. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. We will get around the eleven, interestingly. Bad back there, Curtis. Eleven. Start P2. Favorite, quote unquote. I did not hear outside. I heard clear. Curtis, come back to the three Ks. Hey, uh, Matthew, do you have crew chief or do you have the normal spotter? Pace car is out. Line up single file. Hey, I did the noble thing and I let everybody Pace buy me. I jumped out. down on the apron and then everything unfolded in front of me. It looked like the sky exploding and the galaxy just falling upon us all. It was beautiful. I have a tear in my eye. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's At least really there's some beautiful. humor in this race. So there's not much race. Number four, if you could do me a favor and point out where the fuck your brake pedal is on your rig, that'd be great. Pit road is now open. Like the three car did the same thing that he just did to it's me. Open. The, the like, caution before. Well, this guy pit now. Wouldn't be any really reason to if he didn't before, but we'll see. Yeah, I didn't think so. I should have sent smoke signals before, Curtis, to let you know. Yeah, my, my race is really over now. I'm well, playing my national like anthem. 12, 1300 RBM. It's my theme song. Car 20. Got the lucky dog. Get the truck, it's essentially a truck now. We'll see if we can get a good jump from P2 now, then. I think if we can... Is the pink stuff, the pink sauce that went viral? It's probably insulation. That went viral infection. Stop blinking. Stop it. That pink stuff or whatever. Girl. Stop blinking. Leave it on the hot porch for about five hours and then you bring it inside and eat it. And get botulism. That was an entertaining story. Ooh. My wife's fat Filipino ass. All right, two to green now, I believe. Pit road is closed right now. I'm Left passing the ATM. I'm not paying attention. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. I'm uncomfortable. Hi, uncomfortable. I'm dead. Everyone's so bored because we're not racing very much. I feel like I get that vibe. Please throw it soundboard. Oh man. Or do you have a prop table? This. Can I even upload this race? This is so boring. You know, a prop table? 
Uh, I'm sorry if you're watching this. No, I, I just got a <laughs> to be to be truthful. I mean, it could it could still get exciting. We don't know. Oh, the six, I think he must have gotten too much damage. He was already in a, a bad spot. You're doing good. Curtis has the worst lock, dude. Lift off 18. Carboy. One left to go. All right. Race regime at the end of this lap. Man, I want that outside. Still like 31 laps to go, I think, when we get restarted here. Ian's got some damage on him. I have to do this look to the left thing a bunch, I'm sorry. Just uh, P2 restart things. I just realized that's Steven. Maybe I can hear him. Maybe I'll get a better jump if I can just hear him. The leader has control. Maintain the pace speed until the start zone. Then go. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Deep road zone to secure. Back in the lead. Alright, that was decent-ish. The next car is the leader. I don't want to stick my nose there. I think that might wreck him. He's really slow out of the corner, though. Sure, what lane he was taking there. He kind of looked like he went up to third lane and then. I can't tell what lane he's trying to be in. I don't want to dive bomb him. That's the thing. Make him think. That was a 31.0. Yeah, he overdrove it. Outside. Okay, he's turning Clear. into me. Outside. Clear. Wow. Great blocking, all me. What happened exactly? We got by him. Held my line. Know that at least he kind of like drifted up to the uh, third lane, and then kind of turned down into me when I was in the second lane. Like two's back there though. He's not gonna let us get away with this too easy. He's uh, had some trouble this race, but he still seems pretty fast. Maybe he's not comfortable. I overdrove that. Not too many to go, though. Um, I guess a lot of green laps compared to what we've gotten, but... Crazy amount. Quickest at the moment, that's good to hear. There's feeling a little bit tighter. I wonder if the track conditions are changing, perhaps. I feel like I'm having to slow down just a little bit more to get to the line I want to hit. like we're doing okay. Hopefully on um, tires as well.
Feels good to me. Okay, Colton, we're matching race pace. That last lap was a 30.9. You're now in the lead, Crew Chief says. Just now, in the lead, okay. Good to know. Thanks, Crew Chief. Did you have a nice nap? Just wake up? Go sleepy by? <laughs> Alright, what's up, 13? That was uh, 30.9. Okay, we drove a little bit there, drifting up into lane 3. Man, really, uh, nothing going on out here, huh? Managed not to drift up that time. Almost half a tenth better. The gap to Connor behind is now 1.6. Just keeping it steady, not trying to uh, slide it in or out of the corner. Good consistency, keep it coming. Okay, and then of course I slide it out of the corner, just as I was saying I was not doing that. that I need to like, I always do that, that happens all the time. I'll be like, yep, just gonna try not to crash during qualifying here. And then I'll crash during qualifying. You would think I would listen to myself. I really overdrove that time. That was not good. Alright, focus up now. Don't fall apart now on lap 61. Hit the brakes. Brakes good. Do you, in fact, need brakes at New Hampshire? You've just done a 31.1. Two point two back to second. Less is more, it feels like, when trying to just barely put the throttle in it, but keep that lane, that line right next to the seam there. Just a tiny bit of throttle, just to make sure I'm on the right racing line. Seems to work out pretty well. we got the 13 up here. Hopefully they'll give us room. They look like they've been through it. Uh, he's going way up there. Lane hurts our exit, but didn't hurt our car. That's what matters. No contact or anything. Very nice screen run now, though, all of a sudden. Hey, that was a good three and four. Feels like the car's getting faster, maybe. Maybe I'm getting less bad. <laughs> maybe I'm hitting my marks a little bit better. But tires definitely don't feel like an issue. Be interested to see what they say at, at the end. After we've had some laps on them. What did we have before? 89.90? That's pretty good. I don't know how many green laps we actually did on those, though. So it's kind of hard to say, like, what is it, 89.90 after two laps? That would be not good. 
but if it were after like, I don't know, 30 or something, that'd be pretty darn good. So, I don't really know how many green laps we actually did, but at least they're pretty even. Gap still growing behind us. Not very much though, he's kind of hanging in there. Not really having to push too much though. I think pushing would just make us slower to be honest. Sliding around on entry and exit by trying to go fast, I think that would just make us slower. I think uh, being smooth here is a really big thing. I don't know why I'm in the bottom lane all of a sudden. That's not where I wanted to be. There's a whole two tenths slower almost in sector two because of that. We want to be in this lane. Alright, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. We'll probably reach some more lap traffic before the end of this one. It's looking like 21's coming up pretty soon. Hope we don't get any more cautions. I could see people staying out at the end. Make me very concerned. Feels great. This guy behind catching a little bit. Maybe got to keep an eye on that. Maybe he's been saving, and I'm gonna look like a big fool when he catches me. Keep an eye on it. See what he, uh, what the uh, relative says. At the start finish. Then compare. Next time around. Alright, so he is 2.3 right now. Great job. Starting lap 71. And at the line, 2.4, so pretty much the same. Wish this guy would get off my race line. Car outside. Stay low. Let me make it around him. Clear up top. I'm not going to get up into his lane because I fear Down getting rear-ended. Clear high. He's not interested in backing out for me, but no harm done, I guess. Couple tenths lost to the two, but he's got to get around him as well, so. Just a wreck. Nobody wreck. That would be a very awkward yep, situation. Please. When it comes to do I take tires or not. You can see how much time that lost us. Having that guy there. Mm-hmm. The lap time was at 31.6. Just keeping it smooth. We've got the, the got the gap to work with. See there I did it again. I said keeping it smooth and then I drift out of the corner. The gap to Connor behind is now 2.4. Why the fuck are you racing so hard, Tony? Are you gonna win this fucking race, bro? You're a fucking lap down. Uh, please what the fuck don't wreck. Are you doing? Please don't wreck. I really don't want to complicate this. Let's just get this over with. Oh man, the four's been through it. Car outside. Room up top. 
Wow, he's got no front end at all. Port race car. Another guy on our exit here. Kind of was off the wall too, that was a little scary. We make it by cleanly though. I'm on the bottom lane for some reason again. Oh, every time someone queues up on Mike, I'm afraid they're going to yell about someone wrecking them and then we're going to see a yellow flag. Every time, it scares me. Sarcastic thanks. Oh my god, look at that cluster of cars up there. They're gonna wreck, aren't they? That's gonna be the wreck right there. Oh my god, I'm terrified. Push it then. Just get to the white flag, please. Because you know there's gonna be people staying out and not taking tires. Two to go. You've got two left to go. Come on, Colton. Two laps left. Your P1. Your lap time was 31.6. Too hard there. The answer, Connor behind is now 2.3. Alright. Come on, we're almost there. Real nice Please get to the. I thought that guy was going to hit the wall and bounce off. I'm paranoid. Alright. We're home free. Base, base. We're safe. Alright, I'm probably just going to stay behind these guys, to be honest. Yeah, we're just going to hang behind these guys. There's no reason to go up and get near them. Wow, you're really great. You know that. Later, I'm gonna go high. You can take a low line. Race is over for me here, good. Great win. You deserve that today. You won. You drive a great Great win, ride. Cody. Oh, my lordy lordy. That guy's wrecking. Good race. I have fun, 11. I thought you were gonna do a bump and run. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Why is he so close to me? Oh, is that a conglide? Yeah. I didn't blink just now. Lincoln, I guess. <laughs> Why not clean oh, that was weird. I thought he was mad at me for some reason. 82, 84. Good race, guys. We'll share the setup. My question: Why death throw me the last lap? Minor break by change. All right, so no one gets their hopes up or anything about what I'm giving here. It's <laughs> not like some pro setup or anything, but oh, sorry, pretty much nailed it this week. So that is pretty cool. Oh my lord, look at the incidents! Yikes, yikes! Those are some big numbers. Wow, I didn't realize just how bad it was. I guess we'll have to go see <laughs> what some of that looked like. All right. How am I even going to do this? Because we might be here all day. So we're just backing out big time, it looks like. 17 kind of... I don't know, that was kind of weird. 17 kind of came down. Yeah, he's turning in too early. He comes across the two. And of course the two got damaged this race. Otherwise he might have been able to challenge me. He seems pretty fast. He 
Eat the wall. This is gonna be a wreck. Yeah, I could just tell by how close the 12 was following the 3 there. That's a big s slap in the butt <laughs> to this 3. Up in there. 13 just drifts up into the 3, it looks like. 3 maybe avoided him by uh, gassing it up a little extra, I don't know. Twenty too far up. Gets the 15 in the Spongebob car. Trying to hold on to it, but... Hey, I guess he did it. He was... Taking the chicane, though. Alright, lap 17 restart. Was this one of the immediate ones? Looks like it. Don't know where the 20 is going. Definitely gotta... Stick that second lane, at least, if you got someone on your outside. Like, you gotta be here, not here. Twenty is sideways, right in front of the whole field coming. Oh my goodness, that's no good. Couple big hits in there. Trying to sort this out, I guess. They're running into each other uh, under yellow, I think. Nothing there. Don't know why we saw that. That's gonna be a wall hit. Moving along. Sponge uh, SpongeBob hits the guy in the bikini bottom. I'm gonna go a little quick because I know there was a lot to see this race. Although we are already uh, almost halfway through it, lap 34. Just got some wall hits moving through pretty quickly. What is going to happen here? Just the six kind of taps the right rear of the three. Mm. Three could have gave more room. Six could have been closer to the wall, too. Um, I think that was just a case where they both were holding each other kind of tight, and uh, there was no more room to give. I think I would call that one. Unfortunate, it, it just the cars hit at just the right spot for that accident to happen too. So there, are side by side, by side by side. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a big one, isn't it? Okay. Um, so what happened here? The 13, I think, saw the 17 out there. I think he's got a, you know, maybe he was even still getting three wide because of the 19 down here, and so he thought that they were still three wide with the 17, maybe. And so he's thinking he needs to leave room. I'm assuming. And the 3 sees that they are no longer 3 wide, and so he thinks the 13 is going to be up here. And so that was just a tough situation, I think, caused by lots of cars, lots of different places. 13 should have been by the wall, but I can see why he thought he needed to leave room. And the 3 goes for a tumble. That car has been through the wash. And 6 getting some bad luck, like someone was mentioning. Pretty big one here on the front stretch. And then here's the uh, 18 kind of turning down into me. Yeah, he just he kind of just turns down. Thankfully that didn't give us a 4x. It was a soft enough touch. Yeah, he just overdrives it. I don't know if it's because I put my nose down here and he thought I was going to dive in. Slowed it down because I didn't want to dive in on him. Just wanted him to think I was going to. I'm hoping that he would go for the third lane, and it looks like he either did go for the third lane or overdrove it and missed the second lane. But then I see the opening, so I'm like, all right, I'll stick my nose in and uh, hopefully complete the pass. But uh, he just keeps turning down. He might have gotten loose. That might have been what happened there. But uh, caps me. No harm done. Slows him down a little bit, if anything. But we're okay. Seven's so gonna get some wall. That was a pretty big chunk of it. Hit for the 20. Let 58. Is the 10 gonna get it? Sure is. Thankfully, I never really felt tight. 
what did I end up with again? 82, 84, so we were on the right front, but not too bad. I never really felt like I had to push too hard. Ooh, okay, 20 thinking the 17 was going to be by the wall. But, uh, I remember the 17 being upset because 20 had no reason really to be making crazy moves, like making it three wide right there. There was really no reason for that to happen. Because he's laps down, and I think this disqualifies this guy too. He gets 17 eventually. Or, you know, he has to do the pit entry. Looks like he might be doing it right now. No. 17's when you get your first penalty, isn't it? For incidents? So if he didn't get it there, he got it later. 21 getting it in the wall behind me. Really hard. Oh my gosh, I was almost a caution. 17 going absolutely nowhere. <laughs> that must have been the 2x that did it, right? Huh? Maybe not? I don't know. But uh, that was messy. The 20 still... Okay, he's in the same lap as the 3, maybe. So they're actually battling. Just cars everywhere, man. It's kind of a small miracle that they didn't have another caution. Because, boy, they're trying. It's the 20 running in the back of the 17, drifting up to the 3. Yeah, there's the 17 pitting. Yeah, I knew that was coming eventually. 20 way up the track. How on earth did we not have another caution? Seven's tight. The 19's just going to heat-seeking missile from 20 yards back. Wow, he really just kept going. Baked beans right into him. No dessert before you have your baked beans. And then the two, I don't know why he was coming at me. <laughs> Congratulating me, I think. And then he said he, he might have just blinked or something. I don't know. But that was the end of the race. So, bit of a boring one. Sorry about that. Um, you know, it's just kind of a Monday afternoon race. So, lower participation. But, you know, New Hampshire's fun. I had fun driving at least. And the two gave us something to think about back there. Uh, he, he pulled it in a little closer after uh, we kind of took it easy the last lap. But he was still maintaining back there. I couldn't make any major mistakes. Always, uh, always hanging out back there about two seconds back, but that'll do it for this one. Uh, we'll go ahead and go look at the results page. Real quick. I'll bring that up on OBS here. One, two, three, four. Here it is. Is that showing up now? It is. All right, so as you can see, 1645 strength of field, and, uh, it was, in fact, single split, so not too unexpected there. We get the win, though. Pretty cool. 19i rating. 102 championship points. Fastest lap. And uh, led 70. And the 18 led 10 after not pitting the one time. Staying out. So, hey, I'll take it. Especially the 0x on a race that had multiple double digits. So, got a little messy out there. But... Not for us. We had a nice race. Thank you for watching. That'll do it. I will see you next time. Have a good one.